What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nia Olivia, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be one of my quick chats videos. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have a lifestyle channel, so definitely check out some of my other content, but we're going to jump right into this. So today I wanted to talk about how do you all feel about when you first start dating someone? and they decide to bring you around their friends. And I'm talking about literally like the first date, the second date, they decide, hey, can you meet us here or come there? Or they just decide that there's some place that they want you to come and their friends are gonna be there. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of different examples. So the first instance that I'm gonna discuss is an instance where one of my girlfriends was invited to a gym on the first like meet and greet first time meeting a guy first date um and so basically he invited her to a gym and his friends were also going to be there and so both of us were just really kind of taken aback by that because it's like sir if i don't even know you why on earth would i want to come to a gym and work out and meet your friends and so it came down to kind of like what were his motives with this? Like, was he trying to show her off to his friends? Um, why would he want her to come into that kind of environment? Also, when you haven't even met a person and gotten to really know them, then you meet their friends. And so you're kind of like, wait a minute, I should have, okay, you know, homeboy is kind of cute. And this can go for a man or for a woman. Meaning if a guy meets a woman and he meets her girlfriends very early on, without establishing a real connection or a relationship to her, he might be attracted to one of her friends. And it's just like, why even leave that as an option? So right, you're going to bring me into this environment, show me your friends. Now I'm up here like, mm, wait a minute <laughs> flag on the play like am i with the right one that could happen the other thing that also um happens when you do something like that is that y'all don't really get to know each other because your friends are there and your friends are also inserting their opinions right they're saying oh i think this about him or oh i think that about her which then is going to in turn make us say mm, I don't really know, like you might start to look at a person different, differently just based on the things that your friends give off. Then the other coin or the other side of this is that the person could be an introvert. And even if they're an extrovert, they may not be the type of person that just wants to be around a lot of people, especially in a dating situation where you're really trying to get to know things about someone, build a connection with someone, see if you even enjoy this person and want to go out with them again. Something else that I just thought about, some options for when you're first meeting someone, you could just meet someone at a coffee place. Like you don't have to have the pressure of like a date, especially when it's like an online situation. You just want to kind of meet a person real quick so you can like see if there's like a vibe or anything and kind of like go from there instead of it being something that's so set up and put together. Like let's just go for a walk or let's just meet at a smoothie shop at a coffee shop so we can just even figure out if there's any initial traction, initial attraction this definitely isn't a time for us to be hanging out with our friends and everything like that so i'll give you guys another example um i was dating a gentleman and on the second date he invited me to a like tavern right i think yeah it was something like a tavern and it happened to be not that far from his house i know a lot of people go on dates places that like aren't far from their home and i didn't live near him but i did know okay this is his exit kind of thing so or not that i didn't live near him i had not been to his house before but i knew that this was his exit so i come up to the tavern to meet him and he comes outside and he greets me and when we get in he literally was walking me through like, hey, hey, hey. Like we're stopping at different tables, at different bar stools, speaking to people. It was like cheers. Like everybody knows your name. And I'm just like, wait a minute. And I'm talking about it was the men, there were men and women. And so that immediately had me kind of like a little bit tense because I'm like, why would he want me to meet these people and we don't even know each other? 
what would be the purpose that he was bringing me around? Now, some people may look at it from the standpoint of, oh, that person, you know, really, really likes you and they're really excited about you. So that's why they're bringing you around other people. And while I think it's awesome for someone to be excited about you, I think that there is a time and a place for everything. I want to know from your standpoint, have you ever been asked to come to meet someone and their friends were also going to be there, but you didn't really know this person that well? And if that happened, how did that make you feel? Like, were you comfortable? You know, were you like, okay, I like a group setting of getting to know someone. My other question for you is, have you ever met someone and early on met one of their friends and felt like you were attracted to the friend? Or you maybe wanted to holler at the friend. And I know I'm just being real because we're adults. These type of situations do happen. So I just think for me, I know that if someone asked me to come somewhere and meet a group of people when I'm first getting to know them, I don't want to do that. Like I'm, I'm just not comfortable with that. Um, it definitely takes me some time to warm up with the person and to get used to them and everything like that. And I also think that it also mitigates the outside noise from other people uh, or it decreases the outside noise from other people who are involved in or putting, inserting their opinion in who this person is, um, what they think of this person and, and everything like that. Because let's be honest, our friends can definitely influence us. Anyway, thank you so much. If you got any value out of this video, if you like this conversation, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and be blessed.